Those goddamn rats! Back up, back up! Come on, come on! Go, go, go! And the guy says, well, you better tickle mine, too, because now i got to catch the goddamn thing. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. To a job? Well done. Yeah. Are you going to join us, darling? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the map proves it. Drake didn't screw around in the East Indies for six months. He sailed straight through and headed to Arabia. Right. But here's where it gets interesting. You see this, Mark? This is John D's signature. Who the hell's John D? John D? One of Queen Elizabeth's closest advisors. Everybody knows that. Yeah, yeah. He was a great mathematician and navigator. Okay, way ahead of his time. He's probably the one who invented that. Seriously into the occult. I mean, like a really creepy dog. Yeah, see, way. he signed all his letters to the Queen with this symbol, meaning he was her eyes. The original 007, you see? Look, 007. Not really that relevant. So it was John D who sent Drake to Arabia? Yeah, it looks that way. D and Elizabeth. And Walsingham. Great, but what for? Well, that's the million-dollar question, isn't it? And this is where T.E. Lawrence comes in. See, before Lawrence became Lawrence of Arabia... Great film. He was an archaeologist. And even when he was just a kid, he was obsessed with history. Everything to do with knights and the Crusades. And he traveled all over, documenting every... Crusader site he could find. It, it's all in here. All right, you've lost me completely, kid. What the hell has this got to do with Drake? I'm getting to that. See, after the war, Lawrence said that if he were ever to go back to Arabia, it would be to search for this place he called the Atlantis of the Sands. Now, the legend crops up over and over again under different names. Ubar, Aram of the Pillars, the City of Brass. But the story is always the same. Oh, city of immeasurable wealth. Destroyed by God for its arrogance. Swallowed forever in the sands of the Rubalkali Desert. Right here. Well, I like the immeasurable wealth part, anyway. And you think this is what Elizabeth and Dee sent Drake after? Oh, yeah. And more importantly, it's what Marlow is after. So, wait. If Drake was on a mission from the Queen to find this place, why all the secrecy? I mean, it looks like he went to a lot of trouble to hide whatever he found, even from Her Majesty. I don't know. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, what was that? No, hang on a second, because if you recall the last time we went halfway around the world searching for... Not too far? <laughs> With you, I never know if that means a quarter mile or twenty. Like that time you got us lost in Peru? Oh, you really want to bring up Peru? <laughs> you are not still holding that over me. I was fifteen, Sully. Should have known when I met you that I'd be in prison within a year. You were headed that way all on your own, if you recall. <laughs> Come on, through here. There it is, just like in Lawrence's notes. Gotta have more faith in me, Sully. Of course, I don't remember this ravine being on the map. Ah, they must have just put that in. All right. Come on, we'll find another way around. This way. Watch your step. Who? I don't know, kid. You sure we're in the right place? This doesn't seem old enough to be a crusader castle. Looks more like Renaissance to me. You haven't been reading my books again, have you, Sully? <laughs> now, Lawrence says the original castle was built in the 11th century. The rest was added on later. Oh, this looks sketchy. Ooh. 
Look, Sully, your first car. Oh, man. That's a 1927 Honor. <clears throat> yeah? What's this, Mr. Wizard? Lawn art. Pretty tacky. <laughs> now, the knight who owned this castle, Lord Godfrey, returned from the Crusades in the 12th century. Now, according to Lawrence, all that's left of the original castle is the square keep and the gardens. If Godfrey brought any secrets back from Arabia, that's where we're gonna find him. Getting in this way. What about that window above you? I don't want to cut myself. All right, nice going, kid. Be right back. All right, back up. I'll shoot the lock off. Make sure that's the only thing you shoot off. I said lock. You good? Okay. We gotta make our way through the chateau to the gardens. That's where we'll find the old keep. Oh man, look at this place. <laughs> no. Can't get it open. This damn beam's in the way. Yeah, we gotta get some leverage. Think you can get up there? You can try. Those chandeliers are on some kind of pulley system. Yeah, must be how they lowered them down to clean them. Hey, there's some kind of mechanism over there. I have an idea. That thing's coming out of the ceiling. Huh. 
All right, here we go. All right, got it. There, I'm in. Question is, in what? Be right down. Is that a popcorn machine? Okay, let's see if we can find a way to that tower. Hey, Nate. Square tower. Looks pretty old. Yeah. That matches the one in Lawrence's notebook. That must be it. Nice. Thanks. Looks like we can get through here. Yeah? Yep. Yeah, come on. We got it. Watch it! Oh, thanks. Hey, Nate. Isn't this the same symbol that was on the tower? Yeah. That's gotta mean something, right? Maybe a secret passage? In a fireplace? Kinda on the nose, don't you think? Yeah, too simple. Something weird about these suits of armor. Come here, check it out. Bases rotate. Interesting. Anything in Lawrence's notebook about this? Let me check. Yeah. Here, see? Four knights. With an axe, a shield, a sword, and a morning star. Just like the ones in this room. Maybe we gotta turn each knight so it's facing the right way. Yeah, but what's the right way?
kind of trick to it. A pattern. Well, well. A secret passage. All right. Gotta hand it to you, Sully. Okay. I'll push, you pull. On three, ready? Wait. One, two, pull, or one, two, three, pull? Just pull. Got it. Nate? Hey, you all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll live. There's no way I'm getting back up there. I'm gonna head this way. Just meet me on the other side. You got it. You be careful down there. Right. Hope there is another side. What the hell is that noise? I should be able to get through here. Yes. Should be able to climb up through there. Piece of cake. Oh, oh crap. They're here somewhere. Hunt them down. Sully.
Jesus, they brought a small army. Thanks for the gift, boys. See that coming. Eight to here. Sorry, I'm late. Like Marlow brought a goddamn army. Power's right there. We gotta get inside. Come on, Sully, give me some help with this door. All right. Well, which way now? I'm not really sure. Why don't we try going down? one of Talbot's men. It was? But that's impossible. They just got here. Yeah, but what could have happened to him? I have no idea, but I sure as hell don't like it.
Hey, the tile's depressed when you step on it. I'll stand over here so I don't step on any by accident. Good idea. Did Lawrence make any notes about this? Let me check. Maybe you gotta walk across them in a certain order. Pitch dark in here. Want to give us some light? Sure. Oh, looks like some sort of laboratory, isn't it? Hey, a little more light, Sully. You got it. Hmm. Seems to be an alchemist lab. Wait a second. Does this place remind you of anything? Yeah. Marlowe's creepy hideout, now that you mention it. Sully. Sully, this is John Dee's lab. All the way out here? In France? Well, he must have traced the clues back to the Crusades, just like Lawrence did. Hey, look at this. Huh. Sabian script again. But what are these symbols? Looks like he was trying to work something out. There's some sort of message written here in a Nokian script. Think you can decipher it? I'll try. The altar guards the entrance to the underworld. Huh. Well, he did use magic to conjure spirits. Yeah, or the altar could be hiding a secret passage. Oh. Right. Help me push. <laughs> oh, just look at that. Crafty old bastard. Why, thank you. Ugh! Oh, here we go. Sully, give me a light. Yeah. Ah, much better. You know, one of these days you're really gonna have to start carrying your own matches. What are you talking about? <laughs> Whoa. Looks like they really wanted to keep something out. We're in. Yeah, give me a hand with this. like the family crypt. Your pal Godfrey must be down here then, huh? With any luck. If he knew anything about the Atlantis of the Sands, he took it with him to the grave. So let's find the grave. Exactly. What 
is this? Medieval game show? <laughs> Pretty elaborate. Yeah. Let's see. It looks like he was trying to solve this, but he never quite finished. Anything? He doesn't seem to be in any of these crypts. No. Now they would have hidden his tomb. Keep looking around. Godfrey, I presume? The one and only. <laughs> this is it. Here, hold this, will you? Sure. <clears throat> Look, it's some sort of amulet. There's something written here. Do this right on top of Lancelot, huh? Uh huh. It's in Sabean script. Well, that'd be from ancient Yemen, all right? Yeah, exactly where Francis Drake would have landed back in the 16th century. Could be the name of a city. Yeah, from 3,000 years ago. Without the rest of that inscription, we still don't know where to look. Well, let's hope the other half is in Syria. Yeah, and the Cutter and Chloe can find it. I wouldn't recommend that. Shit. <laughs> nice work, gentlemen. Harris, please relieve Mr. Drake of the artifact. Yeah, Harris. Come get it. <laughs> now it's hardly worth dying over, is it? Your friend doesn't think so. Come on, Nate.
What is that? Oh my god. What the hell? Stay in the light. Get it. Quickly. Get him off me! Get him off me! Your torch seems to be dying out. Good luck with that. God, what a dick. Right? We gotta find a way out of here fast. Stay close. The torch is going out. We gotta find a way out of here. Wait, up there. Come on, come on. Give me a hand! Here! Come on! Jesus Christ, they're coming from everywhere! No! Oh, kill me! Come on! Come on, we gotta go! Go! Nate! Come on! Oh God, they're coming through the ceiling! Come on, run! My God, these things are fast! You're clear. Huh? Yeah. How about me? Turn around. Why are you good? Oh. You okay? Yeah, I think so. All right, let's not go back in there. I think that's a good idea. Well, we're not going that way. Whichever way we go, just promise me there's no more goddamn spiders. Okay. We gotta find a way out of here. See if I can find a way across. Watch yourself. I got it. Things gonna go. I know, I know. Hey, that'll work. Yeah. Just like I planned. Now we gotta find a way down. Oh, hold on. Every last drop! What the hell are they doing? Burn the whole place down! Oh no. Sully, we gotta get out of here.
That was close, huh? You all right? Oh, yeah. <coughs> just swell. Here, just give me a sec. You always seem to forget. I got 25 years on you. Come on, Sully. You're strong as an ox. Anyway, what's the hurry? They think we're in that. We almost were. I gotta say, I'm losing the plot here. Remind me again why we're doing this? No, 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 no. If you're gearing up for one of your I'm too old for this speeches, spare me. Nate, these guys are playing for keeps. Yeah, so? What, you're just gonna roll over for them now? Nobody's talking about rolling over. Then quit acting like you're ready to lay down and die, all right? Listen, kid. I've had you back for 20 years. I'm not going anywhere, obviously. I just want to make sure we're doing this for the right reasons. You got your pride all tangled up in this thing. It's making you reckless. I taught you better than that. You're gonna get yourself killed. Oh, damn. <laughs> Hell. Probably get us all killed. Oh, no. What? Cutter and Chloe. Sully, if we were followed... Oh, shit. Chances are they were, too. We gotta warn them. Yeah, and get to Syria fast. Sure hope you remember where we left the car, because I am completely turned around. Damn it. Still can't reach either one of them. 
Something is definitely not right. How long till this place opens? 